so the first thing we're going to talk about is the grid system and foundation and it, it's pretty straightforward and hopefully easy to understand to start out with a foundation grid you have to have a div that has a class of row now your row class acts as a wrapper or a container for all of your columns and one thing to keep in mind is your columns or your row should not contain columns um, equate to a number larger than 12 and I'll show you what I mean first let's look at a div and give it a class of columns and we'll have two of them and in the spirit of mobile first design why don't we start with small screens and give each of them a, a span of six columns Go back to our browser and refresh our welcome page and you'll see that we have our text here in each column and why don't we update our CSS file so that we can get a better visualization of each of the columns. We'll give it a background color of black, how about a font color of white, and a border of three pixels solid red okay so the small dash six class behaves in the following way screens that are larger than small will all have a span of six columns let's go into responsive design mode and you'll see here on my small screen that I have uh, two six column divs and as our screen gets larger it remains the same very large screens uh, will center the row well with auto margins to the left and right I mentioned this before but your row should not contain columns with classes that are gr that equate to a number greater than 12 so as you can see here, I have three divs, six, six, six uh, columns, and that equals 18. If we save it and go back to our browser and refresh, we'll see that our layout is now broken. Remember, you'll want each of your columns to have uh, a max of uh, 12 columns. If we were to have started out with a large screen, we would do that by using the large uh, screen name or class name excuse me and you'll see here that on larger screens it behaves the same now the difference is that when you move down to medium sized screens each of the column becomes full width so that's one thing to keep in mind suppose we wanted different behavior for different screen sizes we could add multiple screen classes to a single div so why don't we make this one medium 8 and the second div we'll make it medium 4 remember we don't want to go greater than 12 8 4 So now on the medium size screen, we have our div going eight columns and the other one going four. And as we get to larger screens, they go back to six. On smaller screens, they become full width. If we wanted to, we could add a small class. And why don't we make it small dash, I don't know, three. And we'll make this one small dash three as well. Let's see what happens. On smaller screens, we now have two columns with three. However, the last one has been floated to the right. In foundation, if you have a number of columns that equal to less than 12, the last column will be floated to the right. Now, if this is not the desired layout for small screens, there's a workaround for this. If we wanted each of these divs to be next to each other, 
you can fix that by adding another class to the second div called end. And what the end class does is prevents the float. 